She Shares is a documentary that follows four female competitors in the build-up to the world's most prestigious sharing competition, the Golden Shares. There is no women's only category, and it's tough as well as really competitive. We are joined now by director Jack Nicholl and sharing champion Emily Welch. Welcome to you both. An absolute pleasure to have you here. And let's start us. with you, Jack. Sure. What gave you the idea to make this doco? Well, no one had ever really done a sharing documentary before. You know, it's kind of bizarre considering New Zealanders are so, you know, synonymous with sharing. Yeah. Um, I th thought it was a cool opportunity to tell a cool story in a cool story world. Um, so I got to work. I'm a townie. I've I have nothing to do with sharing at all. <laughs> um, and I started researching and um, I came across female sharers. And then very sort of a, sort of rare within the sharing world, uh, relatively speaking. And I thought they, they just sort of sounded like fascinating people. And then I sort of made um, some phone calls and got introduced to Emily. And I thought, this is, a, this is a fascinating person that we should make a documentary about. Yeah, a good story to tell. So I'm pleased you took it on board. Emily, tell us a bit about your background in sharing. Have you grown up with it? Did you just fall into it? Um, so I'm off a sheep and beef farm and my dad was a sharer. Um, so I grew up with it. I, I didn't dream and aspire to be a sharer. Um, I went to university. I thought I'd become a professional in the, in the professional agricultural world. But then I took up sharing and it's kind of a job you get addicted to. Well, and you've got a few titles too, haven't you? What have you got? So I'm a uh, world record holder. I've got the nine hour lamb wow. sharing record. Wow. What does that mean? So you shared lambs for nine hours? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did for a nine hour shearing day, which is from five to five. With, so you share the nine hours with some breaks in it. Right? That's just extraordinary. Mm. Do you get incredibly sore? Like, does your body ache? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's incredibly tough, especially at record. So I did a lot of, um, I was full-time working plus additional training and building up to that day to do the record. And yeah, you put everything out there for one day. So you've got four kids now. Do you still yes. get out and share or how does it work? Um, I still get out every now and then. We run a sharing gang now, so I do mostly the organising and the admin stuff. But sometimes we're short of a sharer and it becomes easier. I get a babysitter and I go out and I have a great day. I enjoy having a day out of the house and in the wool shed and back at work again. Wow. Okay, and Jack, tell us about some of the other people that feature in the documentary. Who have you got? So we've got, uh, we've got a sort of wide range of sharers from different parts of their career. Um, we've got a young woman called Hazel, Hazel Wood, who's a dairy farmer, but she doesn't like dairy farming. She wants to become a sharer. Her dream is to be a professional sharer. Uh, and then we've got a fantastic sharer and wool handler called, called Pagan Karodia, who's from Alexandra. Uh, and then we've got a young gun called Catherine Maluli, who's doing very, very uh, big things. Uh, she's sort of been touted as the next Emily. Uh, and then we've got uh, sort of the previous Emily, this woman called Jules Angus Burney, who Emily broke her, her record. Wow. Nice. Emily, how, I mean, there's no special category for women, is there? No. Uh, so you're just competing against the men. How difficult is it to train and how much hard work's involved with it? Um, well, it's an incredibly difficult job. They, they like, and some people try to say, say that it's like a back-to-back -back marathon doing a full day sharing. And what they really mean is your calories use is, is the same as running two marathons. So you use 7,000 calories for the day in a wow. full day's work. You're using all the muscles in your body and it's, um, it's a very hard job. So if you're training for it, do you do special things or do you just go out and just do um, more work? Mostly you do normal work. You can't train for sharing without sharing. Oh, and the additional you. training <laughs> I did, did for it was um, some running, you know, increasing my aerobic fitness and a bit of strength you know, to make me stronger and, and more efficient. And look at your diet as well? Yes, and definitely diet. Um, because you wanted to cut down to be as light as you could for uh, for the record. And yeah, so I diet, extra training and, and working every day. And that is the talk like of it. a world champ. Well done. <laughs> Was it hard to uh, decide to do the documentary when Jack said, hey, Emily, you want to do this? Were you know, we like, no, I don't know. Um, I was, uh, Golden Shears approached me first and then Jack got in touch with me. And I, I said yes. My husband and I have always taken the philosophy of just saying yes to the opportunities that come and just see what happens. So I was like, oh, sure. And it's great for um, sharing and women's sharing. And, and I knew that if, for it to be a good story, it's quite important to have the people of all the stages. So, mm. um, yeah, so it wasn't hard to say yes, no. Jack, did you have a go? Did you actually get out there and try it? I, one day I got, <laughs> I got almost through the end because I was terrified. You know, sheep are massive. You know, yeah. they've got, like, hooves that can... Now you sound like a town. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> I, I have huge amounts of respect. And finally, I got uh, peer pressed into sharing a sheep. And it's, it's terrifying, you know. Like, they make it look easy. Um, uh, but I can honestly, I can proudly say I've shorn like half a sheep, which is better than nothing. That is better good than job. nothing. Yeah, yeah, good on you, Jackie. He's done the, the last side. Yeah, that's yeah, was right. Was he all right yeah, yeah, when, yeah. He, when he gave it a go? I think it was Hazel's dad, that's Jeff, right. who, because yeah, um, yeah. Hazel's dad, Jeff's a great sharer and a sharing judge, um, and he got him to do it. <laughs> so. well, I want to, want to show you, you know, just how difficult it is. Yeah. What was the most surprising thing when you were making the documentary that you discovered? 
I really enjoy the, just how deep they get into sharing sports. You know, it's like it's a, they take it so seriously that they just want to be the best, and they're com highly competitive people. And I really enjoy the fact that there's like mind games. You know, people try to put each other off, and sort of like sledging in cricket. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. It's really sort of an interesting world, um, and it's a great story world. And I think it, um, yeah, it sort of really comes through in the documentary. So, is there sledging? Um, not so much between the females, I didn't find so much, but between the guys, you know, they'll be like, oh, I'm using this comb, which is, you know, and then they'll use a different one. And there is a lot of that sort of going on and trying to trick people or wind people up. So My husband loves to wind, loves to wind um, <laughs> other competitors up. He loves it. He thinks it's great. <laughs> so without giving away too many of your secrets, Emily, being world champ, is there anything that, you know, you think is pivotal to being a champion? Definitely focus, you know, setting that goal and then striving to do it and, and being a motivated person. Um, for women in sharing, the pivotal thing is to learn how to be technically correct because okay. we're not strong like the guys. So you have to be technically correct because you can't fight the sheep. You have to really work with the sheep. So that's one of the main mm. things as a woman sharer you have to learn to do. Mm. Do you find that there is uh, any sort of animosity between the sexes in the sharing shed? Um, I think there can be. I'm fortunate I haven't come across it too much. I always just tried to treat, you know, it wasn't about me versus the guys. It was, I'm a sharer, they're a sharer, so it was me versus the other sharers, yeah. regardless of what sex they were. And I think that helps not create animosity. If you go in there and you're like, oh, I'm a jerk, I want to yeah. beat you, and I, mm. I think you then create an issue. But I never wanted to be like that, so I, I haven't had too many problems. I've had the odd guy that didn't want to shake my hand or <laughs> didn't want to be in the final, would rather have not been in the final yeah. than competed against me. Well, and you I don't like, really well, want to shake his lost, hand either, though, know. do you? Yeah, yeah, I just laughed and said, well, you know. So, yeah. would, would, you, would you like a woman's only competition to come back? Uh, it's a really tricky one because it's across grades. So I'm in the open grade at the moment, Hazel's in the junior grade. So for us to compete against each other, it's not fair. Um, there has to be some sort of... Um, Penalty system right. rather than penalty, like, like so sort of get out of yeah, an yeah. even So it's really tricky. A lot of people would love it, but they have to find out a way to do it correctly because Hazel's not going to want to pay money to enter a competition to share against me if it's just on an even keel because right. there's, well, no, there's, it's, it's, it's like like a America's Cup boat against my dinghy or something. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's sort of not, it's not fair. So I mean, people sort of push for it, but they need to sort out a way to do it before it can be done properly. Well, nice work. And, and Jack, you know, people that will come along and see this film, what do you hope they take from it? Well, I, it's a really sort of life-affirming sort of positive film. I'm really proud of that. I think um, we've done a good job of showing just how... Um, how passionate these people are. It's also it's also set in a rural community, but it's sort of more universal than that. Nice. Um, I think, you know, urban audiences will really like it because it's you know it's fun. It's about really cool, funny, interesting characters, and it's such a quirky world that I think it'll be it'll be you know people will walk out with a smile on their face. Excellent, looking forward to it. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks the She Shares World Premiere is in Auckland tomorrow night as part of the New Zealand International Film Festival. Screenings will also be held around the country too. You can check out the film festival website for details.